People eat deer, people eat squirrels, people eat rabbits, but you know what nobody eats? Possums. Now is that because possums don't taste good or because no one's actually given them a chance? So if I cooked a possum, would you eat it? No, no. Definitely not. Regardless, in this video, we're heading out into the woods, we're gonna trap a possum, skin the possum, and then finally, we're gonna cook the bad boy and see exactly how it tastes. Without further ado, let's get on to step one, trapping. All right guys, so trapping a possum might literally be the easiest thing you'll ever do in your entire life. And there's a couple different ways you can actually trap one. You can use this trap, which is a dog-proof trap. We've caught plenty of possums like that before, but today I'm gonna be using a cage trap. The way these things work is that the door come up, a latch happens right here connected to the pressure plate. Whenever the pressure plates get touched, door goes down, these slide down, locks up, can't get out. These traps work great on coons, possums, and even skunks if you can get one. And for beta choice, we're going really simple, sardines. Nobody else is gonna eat them. But you can honestly use about anything, such as dog food, honey buns, meatballs, and you can probably even catch one on a popsicle. So when it comes to bait, Possums aren't exactly particular. As for where to trap a possum, possums really aren't that particular and they kind of can live anywhere. Right now we're out in the woods, but you can also find one behind a dumpster or even on the side of the road dead. But for this video, we prefer them to be alive. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get this thing set. So it shouldn't be too hard. I raise these two lids, move this latch over. It connects just like that. Boom, this trap's set, super simple. Now I'm gonna open up this. Try not to get it all over me. Hot sauce, hot sauce. There we go, that's how we want it. Mmm, yeah man, look at them sardines. Yummy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like maybe one or two little sardines right here out in front, just as like a little teaser, a little sample, make sure he likes it. Then I'll put a few more right back on back there a little bit more, and then I'm just gonna put the rest of the can all the way back there in the main back of the cage. We're heading out of here. Hopefully, we'll be back in the morning. Ethan, buddy, if I cooked a possum, would you eat it? No, I'm crazy. What? It's a rat that lives in the woods, man. They eat dead stuff and ticks and fleas. That's nasty. It's just like a rat. Yeah. I mean, you know, I tell you what. I tell you what. You give me two cases of Mountain Dew, I'll eat the cost. Now while our trap is out there doing work, we're actually gonna try to hunt a possum. And since possums mainly roam at night, we're waiting till the sun goes down and it gets dark before we even get started. The way we're gonna hunt these possums is with my squirrel dog, May Joambus. Now yes, she is a squirrel dog, but she can also treat possums and coons every now and again. Basically the game plan, we're letting May out into the woods. She's gonna sniff around, hopefully come across the track of a possum, run it up a tree, and keep it up in the tree until we can get there and shoot it out with that 22 right there. You ready, May? All right, we'll go back in the house because it's not dark yet. T minus 30 minutes. Here we go. All right, May Joambus, you ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it, mate, get it, mate. Now, I will say this. May is not exactly the best possum dog in the world at all. So we might treat something, we might not. And then even at that, there's about a 50-50 chance it's a possum or a raccoon. Stay tuned. Find it, May. What are you doing, May? Find it for us. She acts like she smells one. All right, boys, so I'm actually sitting in my truck right now letting May hunt. She's actually barking, and she's barking right up that way. And if we look at the GPS, we can see that girl's actually been all over this place, bro. And I mean, honestly, that just takes time. But if I click on this right here, I can see she's actually only 73 yards away directly that way. So without further ado, she's up there barking. Let's get out here and let's go check it out. Weapon of choice, pretty simple. Little Ruger 1022 scope cam. Let's see if we can get it done. Now she's somewhere up there. I just, uh, I need her to bark a little bit more for me to tell. All right, boys, we're heading in. As we start getting closer to the tree, start looking for eyeballs. By golly, I think I see it. I sure do. There we go, May. Look at that. It's on the tiniest tree possible. Come on, May, bark at it. Bark at it, it's right there looking at us. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> There we go, May. Look at that dude. He just chilling there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He got on another tree. He's still going up. Now, did I feel sorry for the possum and manually push the tree over there? Maybe. But regardless, Mr. Possum getting up there one time. All right, guys, I think it's about time. I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the 22. He's getting pretty high up there. Turn it on the scope cam. We're gonna go ahead and take him out right here. All right, here we go. I'm having to hold my hat and my gun, but hey, here we go. Coming down, mate, it's coming down. There it comes down. 
Oh, yeah, there it is. Get it, May. There you go, May. Bring it to me, May. Come on, bring it to me. Ah, oh, come on, May. Don't be like that. May got her possum. May definitely earned that one. I had to shoot it twice. I'm not really sure what happened on that first shot, but... Now, with these possums that we hunt and trap, not only are we going to get to eat them and use their fur, but we are actually helping out the turkey population because possums can take out quite a few turkey eggs, and a lot more people hunt turkeys then hunt possums. So us out here hunting and trapping them, it's also balancing that out a little bit. That's for the possum. There he is, May. There's your possum. Yo, I just found these baby bullfrogs. Look at them. Is this not the weirdest thing you've ever seen in your life? Now, I'll be honest, guys. I don't actually know if these are bullfrogs, but they are really small, so... You guys tell me in the comments, are these baby bullfrogs or are these something completely different? Anyways, one possum down. Now tomorrow, we just got to hope that we got one in the trap, don't we, May? Oh, yeah. And it is literally the next morning and we caught a possum overnight just like that. Hey, if you have possums in the area and a possum sees your trap, you're probably gonna catch the possum. And this possum's wild, bro. Like this possum's like energetic and stuff. He's moving around. I don't know if I've ever seen a possum this crazy. Like, what are you doing, bro? Usually possums will just sit still, let you look at them, not really move, and honestly, they'll play dead a lot of times, but this one is acting like, he's acting crazy, man. He might have ADHD or something, you never know. Anyways, we're just gonna pick up this cage, take him back to home base, and then we're gonna be getting him ready for the next step in the process. Trapping the possum complete. All right, guys, now we have the possum. It's up here getting ready to get skinned up. I think this is actually gonna turn out pretty good. I don't see much that can go wrong. Prototop KG Pocket Knife putting in work out here. And while I'm skinning up this possum, if you guys want to pick up a KG Pocket Knife or any other of this KG merch, you can go on down to shop, first link in the description, and use promo code POSSUM10, and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. Update, um, I started pulling on it, and the head came off. So this is what I'm left with. Oops. In the meantime, looks like we're not gonna be able to skin out the face, which, you know, looks like this. But we can go ahead and be getting ready to just skin out the fur, which is what we actually do have left. First thing is to pull out the flesh and bean, this big wooden thing, and I can lay the possum on this so that I can go ahead and start scraping off the fat. And I'm sliding right up on there just like that. On goes my apron, which I've not worn a long time. And out comes the flesh and knife. Here we go. It's not the prettiest right now, but most of the big pieces of fat are off of it, and that's really what our objective was to do there. Now, we're just gonna turn it around and wash it. People who really know what they're doing have washing machines. Ah, uh, have a pool pond. Heck yeah, dude. Most of the red's out of there now. That's exactly what we's looking for. So far, so good. I think this is going pretty good, don't you reckon? Is it perfect? Uh-uh. But is it bad? I mean, it's better than it was 20 minutes ago. Next, we get this thing, which is called a stretcher, and we're gonna put the hide over top of it, stretch it out, and then leave it to dry. And then in a couple days, we can come back, take it down, put tanning solution on it, and hopefully it turns out really good. But now, it's time to get over there and start working on that possum meat. Now, I'm thinking for this possum, it's kind of shaped and acts like just a big squirrel. So maybe I can just break it down into parts I can do a squirrel with the two front legs, two back legs, and the torso, and then cook it like that. So I think that's at least what I'm gonna try. So then we'll have a bunch of possum pieces that we can take in the house and hopefully start cooking. <laughs> Today's the day. We have the possum. This is pretty much what the entire video is leading up to. Now I got a recipe. Now I got a recipe. Now I got a recipe. Get. Mm. I gotta restart. How are we supposed to start a cooking show? I'm gonna sit down so I don't end up running. How am I supposed to do a cooking segment? I don't even know how to do this. It's been too long. Long story short, look here, boys. We got that possum meat. Two front legs. Absolutely killer. Now, I've actually never cooked possum in my life, but for this possum, we're going with a secret recipe I call Awesome Possum. But before we start cooking up the awesome possum, we gotta go to the store, buy a couple ingredients, which my kitchen is lacking. Ethan, grab the wheel. You ready? Go to the store. Buddy, we're 
halfway to get sweet potatoes and something's on us and it's got lights and everything. I need a banana peel to swing back out. I don't know what he's doing. But he's got lights and he's out He might be one of them British cops, dude. That's ATF, probably. Did we pull over? Nope. All right. We're starting off our adventure at Walmart. Our Walmart's too small. They don't actually have sweet potatoes. But we are testing out the great value macaroni and cheese, thick and creamy, for a whopping 50 cents. And we also bought a radio. <laughs> Next stop, Igo. Ethan, what's your theory about if Walmart ain't got it, you don't need it? But they didn't have sweet potatoes. Walmart's done went liberal on us. What's a yam? Hmm? What's a yam? That's what I was trying to figure out. So is, is that a sweet potato? Hey Siri, what's a yam? Here's some information. What's an edible tuber? It's a common name for some plant species in the genus. I don't know what that means. Edible tubers are toxic. <laughs> this crop busted. Everybody coming out of that store. <laughs> All right, guys. We just got back from the store. We got 50 cent macaroni and cheese. That's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. Then we have this. Now, we're gonna be completely honest with you guys. We don't really know what it is. It's, it might be a sweet potato. It might be a yam. It might be a real potato. The lady at the store didn't even know. Yeah, she didn't know, but it is a dollar. So right here, we're cooking with a dollar fifty plus this, which I caught in a trap, with 10 cents of dog food. We cooking pretty good so far. Step one, we're putting the possum in a pot of water and we're gonna boil it for a little bit to go ahead and start cooking it. That's gonna break it down, make it a little more tender for how we finish it later. And as we cook this thing, we're also actually cooking up the broth possum broth that we're gonna be using for possum gravy a little bit later. And while this over here cooking, we're gonna go ahead and be getting ready the main dish. This is where the yam comes into place. We got our KG cooking board prototypes. Don't get too excited yet. What is that apparatus? I don't know, but I don't think it's what I'm looking for. That's batteries. If you know where my potato pillar went, you let me know down in the comments. But for today, we're gonna have to do this with a knife. Oh, it's orange. It's orange. That means a sweet potato. Because it looks like me trying to carve a watermelon. <laughs> Next, we're gonna take our sweet, well, we're gonna take whatever this is, what's supposed to be a sweet potato, and we're gonna cut it up into bite-sized pieces. I don't know if it's supposed to be this hard to cut, but it is. And once we get our bite-sized pieces, we're gonna just toss them in this pan like that and wait for our possum to get done cooking. I think Gordon Ramsay would approve of this. Not yet, no. He might like the cooking board though. As we take a look at the boiling possum, what you notice down in there, see that white stuff in there, that foamy stuff? I think that's like the weird fat cooking off or something like that. That's also good because the fat on a possum doesn't necessarily taste that great. When the possum's almost done boiling, we're gonna go ahead and get the oven ready, preheating about 350. Now that the possum's looking about like this, so you know, it kinda looks done, maybe it needs to be a little more done, that's what we're putting it in the oven for. Long story short, we're gonna put a little bit of possum juice right in here. This is what we're gonna be making our gravy with. and then the rest of it right in here on top of the sweet potatoes and then on top of that goes the actual possum itself we'll come back to that right here in a minute but as for this we're doing salt pepper and then we're actually gonna put a little sugar up on top which is kind of weird but I don't know. not too much but enough now we're gonna put it in the oven until it looks crispy and it looks done. Now for these 50 cent macaronis, it seems to be pretty simple. We start off by just putting the noodles in water and letting them boil until, you know, they're done. And once the noodles are done, we're gonna drain out the water, put the cheese mix together, mix it all together, and boom, there's our 50 cent macaroni. As for the possum gravy, we have the possum broth here ready, but now it's time to turn it into gravy by heating up that broth and putting a little bit of flour into it and seasoning until it gets a little bit thick enough to actually be gravy. We're gonna slowly add in flour as needed to thicken it up, and we're also gonna hit it with some salt and pepper and pretty much just stir it and heat it until it turns into the consistency of gravy. And then guess what? 
it's gravy. And for the awesome possum, about every 15 minutes, pull out your thing and then pour possum juice on the meat until it's done. This way it don't like completely dry out because if it dries out, it's gonna be like, ah, it's not gonna be awesome possum, you know what I mean? While we're waiting on the possum to finish up, we'll go ahead and try out our 50 cent macaroni and cheese. 25 cents per person. And this could honestly probably feed three, so. More like, I don't know, 17 cents or something. Here's yours, here's mine. I'll go first. Mmm. You don't chew big grit. You ain't a friend of mine. Tastes the same as a $3 one. That's what I was thinking. Every 15 minutes we've been pulling it out, but it doesn't even look like we're making much progress. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Looking at the awesome possum, it was looking a little dry, looking a little tough, and it didn't seem like it was cooking too fast either. Same with the sweet potatoes. They just weren't cooking. The macaroni and cheese was fire, all right? No cap, can't change that fact. But whenever we take a look at the possum gravy, it is also not looking too good anymore. The heck is that supposed to be? Possum gravy. That looks like throw up, man. That looks like throw up, man. 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 Rape cooking is not for the faint of heart. You must be imaginative, strong hearted. You must try things that may not work. And you must not let anyone define your limits because of where you come from. Your only limit is your soul. What I say is true. Anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. No matter how bad I was feeling about my awesome possum recipe, I knew that there was no backing down. So I regained my confidence, wrote down the mission at a fundamental standpoint, and got back in the game. I will eat a possum. And it'll taste okay, maybe. That's all I got. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's real. motivational? I mean, you can take it however you want, but yeah. For the final stage of the awesome possum, I'm gonna take the possum gravy and put it over the top of the possum, and then I'm gonna put it back in so the possum gravy will heat up. And then after that, we're gonna bring it out and we're just gonna see how it tastes. And I think the possum's pretty much done. So let's go ahead and be getting it out. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think I have done about everything that I can to try to give justice to a possum. Why does it look like there's maggots on the meat? Cause I don't know. I mean, does it look good at all? No. Uh, the sweet potatoes, let's see how they are. <laughs> I don't know what sweet potatoes are actually supposed to taste like. I'm gonna say they're good. Are they sweet or crunchy? Sure, sure. No, they're not crunchy at all. You good and soft? Oh, dude! Oh, look at this! Look at this! Hot dog! The meat's coming off, baby! I think we may have done something here. Oh, you definitely done something. Here, get yours out. Do what? Get yours out. I don't know if it wants to, but... Oh, son! What do you think about that? It looks gross, man. No, dude. It's possum. You gotta respect it a little bit. No, I don't. All right, here we go. <laughs> that was the face of this is gross. I don't lie. Mm. I'm flip this over. I ain't even trying that possum gravy, man. I mean, you've made worse. Oh, they're mm -mm. not that texture thin. Nope. It's got a bad aftertaste. A little bit tangy. I'm going to McDonald's. <laughs> Why does it look like you're forcing yourself to eat that? The meat's not stringy. It's not tough. It's not gamey. It's not fatty. I think I came to a conclusion. You may think I'm crazy, but I'm not. The closest thing I can compare possum to would be a rabbit. No. It's a rabbit? It's a rabbit? 
that climbs tree. Straight up possum, eight out of 10. One of the best wild games I've eaten. Put over here if you wanna see us hunt bears and eat the bear, or got over here for hunting deer with a pistol, and we ate the deer. They both taste really good too. What's it taste like? Like I need to brush my teeth.